part I kind of was you were talking was thinking because it's through the McCormick's Institute you're also publishing a journal on uh, the Civil War era in the Shenandoah Valley and mm -hmm. just kind of out of curiosity how are you seeing with like submissions issues where people are trying to pro continue to propagate the lost cause or is that less of a problem these days? Yeah, so we haven't, um, there have there has not been one single submission as of yet. So we're we're in our fifth, fifth year of publication of the journal. Um, I have yet to receive one essay that's that's really influenced by the lost cause. Um, we've we've actually done you know i think i think a, a pretty decent job in a very limited amount of time of trying to to tease out some of these stories of african-american experiences mm -hmm. both you know during the war and after the war um i'm always listening at conferences um if somebody presents a paper i'm like hey do you want to publish that we had um at the virginia forum several years ago donna dodenhof um was on a panel with me about um apprenticeship contracts after the war in the valley mm. and freedmen's bureau management of them um and i approached her and said do you have a publisher for this do you have any plans for this and she didn't um and so she ended up publishing that it was in um, volume three um, of the journal so yeah we haven't received um any of of those sort of lost cause inspired essays and overall i think the journal's been pretty well received it's been a kind of an eye-opening experience mm -hmm. uh, for some people because it's it's geared not only toward academic audiences but also you know trying to get the general public because as you know you know as well as I do historians we can talk to one another and it's like preaching to the choir we we know this we're we're of the same mentality but if there's really going to be a difference made you need to reach broader audiences and and the public yeah that's very true um as a kind of funny aside on that, I actually um, mentioned your journal to a rather influential and famous Civil War historian once, and he kind of chuckled a little bit of like, did we really need another one? I kind of was like, yes, we mm -hmm. did. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah, and it's, you know, not to, not to get too far off track, but I did a, an accounting of, you know, all the, the Civil War history and the Journal of the Civil War era Mm, and oh the valley i mean the valley is 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 not really discussed at all and it's such an important um it's such an important region and right. and I, I would argue i always argue that it's in many ways sort of a microcosm yeah. of of a myriad of experiences during the conflict and so yeah i would i would say we do but i'm biased <laughs> i agree yeah. uh, but we could talk about that afterwards a little yeah. bit too um <clears throat> 